Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Um, I am Lutra FM, as always, and this is my uh, ninth episode of the So Show Rise of the Lions Youth Only Save. And uh, where you left us off last episode, we are currently nine points clear, top of the league, with about five or six games to go. We've got some good, talented young players coming through the youth intake. So exciting times ahead. So, um, yeah, let's just get, um, well, I'll be back in a sec, obviously, with the first part of the episode. Yeah, so as I said um, at the intro, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got six games left. We're nine points clear. So we just need to win three out of them six games. Um, no, we need more than that, don't we? Four out of the six, sorry, to guarantee the title. So, um, but we could obviously, if Orleans, I think, are second at the moment. Yeah, if Orleans don't win or New York don't win, then we'll win the title quicker. But we've just got to keep winning out for the best. We are playing Orleans in the, in, um, which will probably be for next episode. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes from there. So, you never know. You never know. I might end up doing all six matches in one episode. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're playing Red Star now. And uh, here's, our, here's the, the lineup. Um, I think most of the same as usual. No real shockers here. So let's just get cracking with the game. Hopefully, this is a good start. Hopefully, this will be a good start to the episode and we get the win. Uh, let's keep an eye on the latest scores. So we'll keep an eye on Orleans and Neils because they're our rivals in this. Well, oh, Neils not playing, I don't think. All right, let's. Oh, Drame, come on, focus. In fact, I'm going to tell him to focus because that was not on. All right, we lose the ball. The men in green. Red star, have the ball now. It's a nice green kit they've got, red star. It's uh, pleasant on the eyes. Oof. As you can tell, Drummy is not happy with my shout, but shouldn't have lost the ball then, should you, Drummy? Oh, my God. That was very ambitious there. Again, another game with no fans. What's going on? Does nobody watch French teams? Or is it just a bug in the game? Right, corner to us. That had some swing on it. That did that corner. By Fatah. I feel like there's a goal coming up here. Bastion with a beautiful cross. Oh, hit the bloody bar. Right, nil nil still. Let's have a look at later scores. Orleans are drawing. Uh, Neil's not playing, are they? No. So we just need to concentrate on the top game there. Dijon versus Orleans. Right, half time. One, uh, half time nil nil. Hopefully, Dijon can do us a favour. Three kick. Oh, headed nicely to the goalkeeper. Who's not playing well? Nobody's not. Nobody's not playing particularly badly. Uh, we just our chances will come. That's a beautiful ball. Look at that. Almost, almost on. T oh no, it's not allowed. I was going to say almost as if I I uh, timed that right, but yeah, it didn't work out. Oh, Dijon's winning though. That's good. Right, Dossu's in knackered. Uh, we'll put Vaz on, on the right wing. And Galvez is knackered as well. So we'll put on Silver. Right, 68 minutes gone. We still haven't scored, and Red Star are now in possession. Oh, nicely nicked there by Kofi. 
He drives ahead. Go on. Oh, lovely pass. Oh, come on. There, that was our chance. We'll have more chances, though. We will. Uh, take him off as well. Right, Drame. Viltard. Across to Fatar. Uh, free, uh, offside. Right. We've got to do some swapping around here. So we'll put him up front. Um, and then we'll put Vitali here, maybe. No, we'll put him in here. Uh, oh, can Boris play as a defensive midfield? Oh, okay, that's, that's sorted. Uh, and we'll just put him here. There you go. Put them in the more natural positions. Hopefully it'll work in our favour. Leaves us a bit weak on the right side defensively though. And then Kofi will have to come off now. And we'll put our goalie on up front. Hope for the best. Some would say that's a very poor tactical decision taking off our best striker. But I don't want him being injured. We don't need to win this game. We can draw it. Like I said, all the ends have lost. So uh, we are 10 points clear now with five games left. One of our young prospects has just signed a new contract. Right, so give us a second and I'll be back. Right, so after a couple of weeks, uh, well, about a month after the intake, um, or over a month actually, we finally got our graduates. So let's just go through them again, the ones that we've already gone through. So uh, yeah, obviously George Gaultier, we've got him. We've already looked at him. So we've got this one here, Andre Riviere, we didn't see before. Um, balanced personality, a uh, right back and wing back who can also be trained to play as a left back. Um, decent passing and technique, very good teamwork, good work rate, good, ter good determination and aggression, decent ability, agility and balance, already improving in training. So in fact, I'm just going to praise him on his training development and also praise him on his youth development, keep his morale up. There we go. So another good one there. Um, we've already looked at Bertrand Paisley, I think. Or have we? Actually, I don't know if we have. Bloody hell, look at that. Potential 1 million value. Um, so very good player in the making. Already improving. So oh, we can't. We can't. Uh, but yeah, a reunis player. Uh, I wouldn't mind man managing like the reunion national team or the Mayotte or one of the French island teams and just try and raid uh, France for talented players that just won't get play called up to the um, France team. I mean, they've got a... Oh, let's go up here. Top of here. But, uh, yeah, I've heard of him. Ludovic Ajorki. He used to play for Strasbourg, I think. Uh, yeah, Strasbourg, then Mainz, and then on, on the game he went to... He's gone to Luton on low. But yeah, that'd be an interesting save for anybody managing like a team like that, national team. If it comes available, I might try and take over on here. Don't think it will though. But yeah, so there's him. Um Gregor Gregor Or Gregor Or Theory. We didn't see him last time. Uh, fairly professional personality. Uh improving in some areas and not in others. Um decent first touch and passing, tackling technique. Decisions, good aggression, good natural fitness, six six foot three as well. Uh, midfielder, central defensive midfielder, and also a left winger. Uh, we've already looked at him, Theo uh, Fivud. Fivud? Fivud, we'll call him. Uh, he's got a driven personality as well, which helps. And then obviously, we've got a few, we've got all these top ones as well, but I won't go for all them. We'll just see if they become. Down the road, they might become good players. Right, there you go. Uh, just need to switch that about. There you go. Right then, we are playing Nims now. Another strong team that we can't uh, take for granted. So, yeah, let's just crack on. I don't think there's any drastic changes in the lineup. So.
We are currently eight points clear. If we win this game, we'll be 11 points clear with four games to go. So then if we win the next game, then we're basically champions, I think. And I think we're playing Orleans next game. So let's have a look. Playing... No, we're not playing Orleans next. We're playing Sherlo next. But it'd be nice to win the title and not have to worry about winning against Orleans. But I think if we win this game, I think we're guaranteed to get promoted anyway, which is the important thing. Winning the title would be nice, but it's not be all or end all. But that's not the, a good start, is it? Ah, dear. Right, let's... Come on, let's get, let's get into this game now. Built hard. Good passing ball there. Galvez. Boris across to Diagne. Diagne's become um, a first team regular now. I think he's playing every game now. Look at that. Good equaliser by Dosu. Dosu with his six goal of the season. Thought he had more than that. He's not played as much as I would like. He's been injured for a bit. 20 games. I think we've played we played 30 games, yeah. So he's he's missed 10 games plus the cup games as well, I think. Uh, Diagne, Viltard, I think we're uh, we're now the team on the up in this game. I think the momentum switched. Again, another game with no fans. What's going on? Where are all these fans? Is it a, a, a fans not allowed in the French national division for some reason, or are they just that bad that they don't attract any crowds? It just seems ridiculous. Right, Vatar's not playing particularly well, so we'll put Vaz on, give him a bit of game time. Uh, take him off. Alright, let's see how it goes. Come on, let's get this other goal. Oh my god, we've got two left backs on the bloody on the bench, but no central defenders. We'll put him in there. Put him on there. Go for broke. And then we'll put goalie on. <laughs> His right back. Looks like it'll be another draw. But that's fine. We're eight points clear, so it's not the end of the world. We could draw all the games now and we'll still win the title, so it's fine. It's no issue. Right. Back in a sec. All right, we've got um, Cholet next. I've decided to rotate the team because I just feel confident that we're going to win the title, whatever happens. Um, so we've got uh, Dosso in goal, not to be confused with the Dosso who plays on the wing. That's a different Dosso. Um, I think one's called Dosso and then one's called Dosso. So it is easy to get confused. Um, we've got Gonzalez de Mora as right back, Vitelli and Fabri in centre defence, Silva as left back, Accra and Tete in midfield, Makalu on the right, Deho on the left, Lacoila and Vaz up front. So it'd be nice to give the other players a bit of a rest as well. They've worked hard this season. Uh, I think Fabri's playing his first game for us. I don't think he's played yet. Uh, no, he's not good enough to stay with us in the long run, though. So um, probably the only game he plays for us. But yeah, we're we're at the nine points clear at the moment. Or or uh, Orleans playing. Orleans are not playing. So we don't need to worry about looking at that. Oh, it's Ruin we've got to look out for now, actually. So let's keep an eye on FC Ruin. They are winning 1-0. 
They might end up getting automatic promotion instead of all leans. But um, it'll be whoever gets promoted out of them two would be surprising when you've got Neil, Nancy, and Nims who are way better, but just haven't seemed to get it working. Oh, there you go, Fabry. Nice way to make your debut. Shame you're not good enough to stay here. Then again, if he gets another, if he, if he plays really well, I might end up keeping him. Oh, one one. That wasn't that didn't last long, did it? Very quiet first half though. I think these are the only two highlights of the game. I didn't even realise it was half time until just now. Oh, uh, yeah, Ruin are still winning. Do you think? I think this is probably another draw now. In our look, Acre's not playing. Acre's not playing well. So, but add your add your Uh, Makalu's not playing well, so we'll take him off and put Prince uh, Mombong on. Oh, for God's sake, he's already knackered. Oh, no, we'll leave him. It's all right. He's recovered, okay. McCoy's not playing well, but we haven't got anybody to replace him with. I think I'm not going to make any more subs now unless we get knackered players on the left back or centre defender side. I don't really want to mess about and put a goalkeeper. Uh, in centre defence when we need to win this game we don't need to win this game it would be nice to win this game though right let's fire up the players see if that'll help uh, is it, uh, the thing is we're just, we're just giving the young players a, a run out we don't need to win this game as long as we don't lose I think losing would be a bit of a rubbish one really oh no He's offside though, surely. Yeah, he's offside. Ruin winning 2 0. So it puts the pressure on Orleans, who we're playing next. Uh, I'll try encouraging the players in a second if it lets me. Ah, uh, it's not going to let me. Oh, it did. Ah, uh, it's too late now. Right, 1-1, one, one. Another, another draw. Bloody hell, we're the king of 1-1 one, one draws. I think that's the third 1-1 one, one draw in a row. That is hat-trick of 1-1 one, one draws. Yeah, oh no, sorry. Four draw. Yeah, four draws in a row, but flipping three of them are 1-1. One, one. Uh, right, I'll be back in a sec, figure out what I'm going to do next. Right, so we're playing Orleans next. I've decided to go with the strongest team possible. Just get this done, and I think if we win this one, we are probably going to win the title by the looks of it. Uh, let me just check if that's actually true. So we've got... Yeah, so I've decided this episode is just going to be basically the rest of the season. We're just going to get these all these games done, and then next episode will be like the summer transfer window pre-season and then start next season. Um, so yeah, Orleans are... Next, and then uh, and then we are so we've got so there's nine get there's nine points available there with six points clear. So I think if we win this one, um, we won't be we won't be champions, but we'll be pretty much on track, I think, um, because we've got the goal difference of 13 as well. So let's just see how it goes, but yeah, the usual lineup by the looks of it. So let's get this done. I think we win this one, then the next one, then. We will be champions. I would have liked to have won the title a bit sooner so we could have played the young players a bit more, but got to concentrate on this first. Anything else is a bonus. And Orleans are not a, a team to we're not, we're gonna, We might struggle against Orleans, we'll see. I don't think we beat him in the last game, but I could be wrong. Pizarre now pushes forward, bombing it down the wing. Loses the ball, though, sadly. Uh, I was hoping there was going to be like a defensive error here. Still might be the way they're playing. Oh, there we go. Viltard. Oh, I think that was a wide shot. Boris, Sebastian, Tiagne has the ball now, passing it out from defence, Viltard, back to Drame, Patar with cross to uh, Pizard, beautiful cross, Karat, 
Kofi with his 20th goal of the season. Look at that, he's doing a little Irish jig dance there. That was quite funny. Diddly diddly do. <laughs> oh, I don't. I've woken up the dog. Hello. Baxter was a very naughty boy last night. He uh, he woke me up about half. To, woke us up about half two, three o'clock in the morning. He was trying to get into the bed because it was a particularly cold night, um, and I haven't had the heating on for the last couple of weeks. Is on a tight git, and I'm trying to save on money because electric is not cheap these days. Um, I didn't realise that was the reason why he kept trying to get into the bed. I thought he was just trying to be annoying because. He always prefers to be in the bed. Get in. 2-0. Um, but I, f I figured it afterwards because he was really persistent and he was getting really anxious. And I, at the time, I was getting annoyed at him. And then I, f I thought about afterwards. So I got up with him. I wrapped him up in a blanket. And then I just fell back to sleep on the sofa with him. So he was warmer. Because we we don't want him getting in the bed. Because if he gets in the bed, he'll just keep trying to get in the bed all the time. And he'll just become the norm and I don't want the dog sharing our bed. Any person with dogs will understand what I'm going through. I did very well. Second day we had him, I managed to train him up quite quickly um, after about three hours of constantly um, stopping him from getting into our bed. He gave up and fell asleep in his dog bed next to us. And then every night since he literally goes straight into his bed when we go to bed. But if we get if we wake up in the middle of the night, for instance, my partner will go to the toilet in the middle of the night. Um, he he thinks automatically it's time to get up and play and have fuss off us, and then he tries and gets in the bed, and he just he he's very persistent. Bless him. It doesn't work with me because I'm more stubborn than him. Anyway, three 0 We're getting closer to that title win. Oh, look at that. Playing like champions here. Absolutely destroying Orleans, who were up until recently second place and doing well to compete with us. Uh, who do I take off? Let's have a look. Pause this for a sec. Let's take Fatar off and put Baz on. Put Deo on for Passard. Costa on for Galvez. And Baxter, stop shaking the bloody laptop. Sorry, everyone. And then Silver can come on for Bastion. Quadru uh, quadruple substitution. Five nil. I didn't see the goal. I was checking on what Baxter was doing. He's now got his chew stick, everyone. So if you hear some tapping and chewing and the stuff like that it's not me it's him uh right uh five nil viltard with the corner let's get another one we want another one we want another one go on deo look at that we asked and we got it get in It's a shame that we can't be crowned champions after this game because this would be one hell of a way to win the title, wouldn't it? Oh, we have won it. Oh, okay. I'm really confused then. My maths played up there. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm just going to pretend that that's uh, Patrick Vieira there with his trendy red glasses uh, giving us the trophy. Thank you, Mr. Vieira. Big fan of yours. Where are you going? Where are you going, Vieira? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Baxter's come in to join in the celebrations. Come on, Baxter. There we go. Settle down. Ruining my video as always. Um, there we go then. We are the champions. Oh, did somebody do the cartwheel then? Missed it. Um... Yeah, my maths let me down there. I do apologise. There we go. We win the chat. Oh, bloody hell. That's a hell of a transfer budget for League 2, isn't it? Not that we're going to use it, but bloody hell. 
not too bad. I mean, I know it's because we've got like seven million in the bank, but yeah, we shan't be using it. There we go. Uh, yep. I don't bother with press conferences, by the way. So, um, all right, so we'll just shift this over to there. See if we can get any faster. Um, sorry for the shaking of the camera there. He was, I think he had an itch somewhere and he was biting it and he was going a bit crazy. Uh, let's just cash these in. Uh, do we cash that in? Oh, we might as well. He's, I don't think it's. I don't trust the AI to uh, to improve the players enough that they get decent transfers elsewhere. Uh, scouting. No, we won't do that because we don't. We're not scouting anybody, so we'll just leave that as that. Right. Uh, so we've got triple the wage budget that we were supposed to have. Sorry, no, more than that. Quadruple. More than quadruple actually so right i'll be back in a second we've got two games left so we will play them we will play our young players so just give us a minute right so this is our penultimate game of the season and we are playing um the sally's 78 um i did go um pick full rotation and this is what it's come up with um we've got vitali and fabri in center defense silver's left back to cost was right back Dosso was the goalie, Accra and Piero de Sar in the field, Makalu on the right, Daryl on the left, Lacoy and Vaz up front. Hopefully Vaz will get another goal, get his 10th goal of the season. Has he actually got more? Has he got 10 goals already? Oh no, he's got nine. So yeah, so he's on track to get his 10th goal of the season. I don't know, let's have a good value. Oh, I thought I was reading that wrong then. Right. Don't need to worry about looking at that. Well intercepted there by Silver, Fabry. Oh, no, cock up there. Uh, that was a poor defensive mistake by us. Um, let's see what we can do. It's not much of a rotated team, to be honest. This team is strong enough to win this game. Then again, we did lose the Versailles with our strongest team, so we'll see. Good save by the goalie. Didn't trouble him too much. Over the top ball, gets headed out. They seem to be all over us. We haven't had a shot yet. They're going to score again in a sec. Corner to them. Looping over the top corner, headed out, and now we have Deho with the ball, loses it. Though. They have possession again. Uh, as soon as I get chance, I'm going to berate the team because I feel like we should be doing way better than this. They're they're uh, they're taking the mick here with these um, balls back to the goalkeeper. I think he's going to backfire in a minute. Silver, you should have been better with that. You have plenty of time to uh, control that header and dictate a pass to somebody. Oof. Right, corner. Over the top corner, headed out. Right, right come on. Can we, can we do a shout now, please? There we go. Uh, I'll do. I'll go demand more first. We'll see how we get on with that. All right, let's try demanding more again. Makalu's playing rubbish though. We'll take him off. Uh, put on Prince Mombongong. Right, I think we've come out 
firing it. Oh, no. I stand corrected. I thought we were going to try and at least have a shot. We've had one shot the whole game so far, and that was a poor shot because it wasn't even on target. So, a bit of a shame that the young players not playing well. Oh, God, and now we're giving them a penalty. Come on, Dosso. Be the hero. No, oh, it's a shame. All right, time to berate the players when I get a chance. Get in. That's what we want to see. Why, why, did we, why did we lack this earlier? Come on. All right, let's fire up the players now. Let's get going. Uh, Vaz, you're not playing well, so you can come off. Oh, we can't, we can't bring you off. You're just going to have to stay there. Fabry's not playing very well, so put on you. Uh, Deo, what you are. Uh, put you there. Put you there. Try encouraging the players a bit, see if that helps in any way. We've been very poor in this game. I know we've rotated the team a bit, but we have been very poor. But you never know, we might get an equaliser here. Yeah? Don't deserve to get a point out of this game. Uh, the Sallies have played really well. Right, corner to us. One of our last chances to get back in this into this game. De Costa with the corner. Into the goalkeeper's hands. Right. What a, a rare loss. Uh, Fatal signed a new contract. Uh, back in a sec with the last game of the season. Right, here we have it. Season finale. Last game of the season. Already crowned champions. So nothing to play for. Uh, just going to swap these around. Pick uh, the rotated team again. So, yeah. So it's the same, basically the same team as the last game we played. But it's not too bad because it gives um, Vaz and Lokoya. Uh, Lokoya has been okay. He's not actually, he's not. He's not progressed as well as he should. So we'll probably go in the summer. He's taking up a space. Um, another striker that we've got could probably do with having the game time instead. Um, but Rubinho has been really good. Uh, I'm just going to offer him a new contract, actually. Uh, three years. Yep, happy days. Oh, we've had a cock up here. Uh, hold on. Right, there you go. Sometimes that happens and I have to click on a something and then go back into it for it to come back up. I don't know if anybody else has that issue. It might just be me. Oh, pardon me. Oh, that was close. Dejan, I know slouches. We have to be at the top of our game to win this. Uh, it's not the end of the world if we lose, though. We've already won the championship. We can afford to lose another game. Just not good for the young lad's morale, though. That's the problem. It's all good playing them, but if they're going to lose every game, it's going to ruin, it's going to ruin their development. Dejan, seconds. This is a top of the league decider. I should have picked my best team for this game. Hindsight's a wonderful thing, though. Free kick to Dejan. Tiptoe. Oh, no. I thought the goalkeeper saved them, but he didn't. Oh, three points clear of Ruin. Ruin back to second.
Right, free kick, Deo, uh, Da Costa. Right, Fab. Oh, yes, get in. Deho, I don't think that's going to be allowed, is it? Oh, yeah, no. I thought for a split second then it was going to be allowed. He was slightly offside. But that's uh, promising. It gives us slight hope. Oh, that's Baxter having a doggy dream. It's all right, Baxter, don't worry. It's okay. It's all right. You're just having a doggy dream. McAloo's playing rubbish, so I've just berated him. Hopefully that'll put a fire in his arse and then he'll start playing well. Probably won't. Never does. In fact, his rating's gone down. This is a poor performance. In fact, I'm going to take McAloo off. Uh, I actually haven't got anybody to put on for him. I'm going to take Tete off, though. Uh, can I put anybody? Put him on. And put him on. It's not the end of the world. It would have been nice to win the last game of the season, though. As a, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, a bit of a, you know, they're just passing it around now, hoping that we'll try not to nick the ball off them. I think they might get another goal here. Yeah. Oh, well. Not that I would sign him, but who's the uh, rent, uh, lens player? I thought he looked familiar. Right, let's berate the players, see if that helps in any way. Makalu getting worse and worse. That's, uh, it's okay, it's okay. You're just having a doggy dream, it's all right. Poor little things yelping and barking in his sleep. Oh, I think we hit the post then. Makalu loses the ball. Get it back though. Come on, Makalu, do something. Redeem yourself here. You're having a terrible game. No, nope, leads to nothing. Oh well. We're still the champions, that's all that matters. Corner. Get a consolation goal here. No, nope. no, we don't. Oh well, we still want the league, that's all that matters. Vaz is out for a few weeks, so yeah, Lacoy is going. He's out of here. Uh, add a bit of clause, profit clause, just in case. Uh, we won't criticise Vaz, he's all right. Right, so we got 154k for participating in the National. We paid out 60k to the squad. Um, what I'll do is I will holiday for a week and come back in a second um, with the season review. Right, we've come back. I just want to go through the inboxes because there's some important things probably on here that you might want to see. Uh, Kofi wins the player of the season for the National. He got 19 goals in 25 games in the league. I think he got 20 goals for, his, uh, for the season and six assists. So, a very good season for him. I think we better... Oh, he's wanted. Who's he wanted by? Uh, Gunchap? Gun Gun I don't know. Going Gamp. Going Gamp, we'll call him. Going Gamp. Uh, we'll put that to a million. Up your wage a little bit. There you go. So, we've got him for a couple of more years, so that's good. Um, he won the player of the Hoovers, runner-up Tormin and Nesta Algegi. Al and then Kofi was runner-up in the top goal scorer, uh, Nesta Algegi. Al Al I, I can't pronounce these names, sorry about this everyone. And then Romain Montel. Uh, goalkeeper, we had... Uh, Mafio Patelouette, our goalkeeper, with the goalkeeper of the season. 
I uh, just got a vote for manager of the season. Rightly so, it should be me. But we'll see. Um, I'll vote for him as he was the second best manager. Oh, uh, team of the season. We had uh, Patty Lett, Boris and Kofi in the team of the week. Uh, team of the season, sorry. Uh, oh, Patelet has been called up to the France under-20 uh, squad. We better offer him a new contract as well. Oh, we can't. Oh, he's not with us. He's on loan. So he won't be here next season because we cannot retain him for the season. He was here at the start when I took over. Um, we've got 206.3k followers up, up 49.4k. That's a hell of a lot of more social media followers now. Uh, 4,000 season ticket holders. Uh, support or influence on the board is only two. Hardcore goes down, but uh, fair weather goes up. But that's probably because we've been promoted. So we're the, we're the uh, flavor of the month. So people will flock to watch us. Uh, let's keep going through these. So this is the club vision for next season, I think. Play defensive solid football. Play counter-attacking football, which I think is what we do anyway. Work within the wage budget. Grow the club's reputation. Avoid relegation from League Two. So pretty easy-ish. And then the next, the season after, and uh, they also want us to. Uh, I don't know the facility training facilities will be complete. So in the next couple of years, they basically just want us to record a become an established League Two team in the following season from next, and then that season after that, record a top to league finish and that's maintain that and then maintain it so i think they just want us to gradually just progress bit by bit they're not asking for too much uh offer him a contract we've got a soft drinks partnership we've got a new one for 775k per year uh, slightly down from last season. Sponsorship is up, actually. I don't know why. I'll oh, ignore that. Um, yeah, everything in the green, everything's going up, so that's good. And then uh, top five merchandise sellers was Kofi, Dosu, Viltard, Pereira, Dessar, which I'm surprised about because he barely played, and Fontaine. Uh, season tickets will go up to 15 sorry average ticket price will be 15 pounds from 13 average season ticket price will be 178 which is uh 15 percent more than last season and then project projected yearly earnings is 3.1 million which is up 30 percent from last season so that's good uh how do we set no we're not we're not signing anybody so Vaz has signed a new contract. He's turned professional. He will be playing probably more football. He'll probably be up there because if Lacoy is going, he's definitely going to be third best striker we've got at the club and maybe eventually take over from Qatar. So, yeah, so that's good. We've got 9.5 million in the bank now. We're projected to go up to 14 million in a couple of years' time. Uh, let's improve, see if we can improve the. Youth recruitment, see if I'm going to sign a new contract, see if we can buy the stadium. Right, I'm just going to forward a couple more days before I go, just to try and get the season preview done. Season review, not preview. So, I annoyingly was not manager of the month, even though I had the best win percentage, which is really frustrating. I will be getting a new contract, there we go. Happy days, I've signed a new contract. Yep, I'm happy. Yep, there we go. So they're happy with my infectious ambition. They've decided to upgrade the youth recruitment to well-established now. So if we just look at club info, we look at facilities. Um, bearing in mind the, trans uh, the training facilities was just improved. So we've got great training facilities, excellent youth facilities, good academy, training, uh, academy coaching, and excellent youth recruitment. Uh, the aim is to try and get the junior coaching improved at some point. Well, yeah, we'll just keep going on here. Um, 
we'll get the season review done and then I'll call it a day for this episode because it's been a long episode to be honest but I hope you've enjoyed it um Everybody's trying to get our scalps. Papri has signed a new contract. So we are going to buy the stadium, which is good because that means we could then expand it and everything. Uh, Kofi has signed a new contract, which is great news. 22 years old. We've got him for the next four years. And he's he's only got a relegation clause. So we don't need to worry about that. Hopefully, if we don't get relegated, if we get relegated, then it'd be a bit of a disaster, wouldn't it? But um, yeah, hopefully we won't get relegated. Because if we get relegated, we'll probably get sacked. But we just don't know. Uh, right, I'm just going to forward to this one, forward one more, I forward to the 2nd of June and see what comes up. Kota Kota member claims the May under-19s under player of the month. He did actually really well, five goals in two games. He's another player I need to tie down to a new contract. He can replace Lacoya, I think. Because he's better than Lokoi. So in, in we'll have Kofi, Fatar, Vaz and uh Nwemba as our four main strikers. Uh Dosu's been called up to the, the Benin uh national team. Right, this is it, I think. Oh hold on, let's do this first. Right, skipping this one now and then there we go. If we don't have our season review when we come back, then I'm going to call it a day for this episode and we'll just do it next episode. Yeah. Right then, that's it. Um, good episode, I think. I think uh, I think you've enjoyed it. Um, try to expand me on here. Bear with us. There we go. So, yeah, good uh, way to end the episode, really. Uh, great episode. We managed to win the title. We managed to... Uh, have a good episode. It was just a good episode, really, wasn't it? Anyway, I'm rambling on, trying to fill time. I'm going to leave it to it now. And I'll be back on um, Sunday, I think. Sunday. Uh, yeah, Sunday. Maybe Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. You'll soon find out. Right. See you later, everyone. All the best.